Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna talk about Shopify, how to create a store on Shopify, about graphic design templates, business easy and quick. So first type Shopify on the search. So as we know Shopify is a tool for making online stores. It helps people sell things on the internet by creating a website where they can display and sell their product. So first of all enter here your online your, uh, your email address and search free trial. Now you can skip all this if you want, I'm gonna skip this and let's continue. Choose an account. Now wait a few seconds to for building this uh, store. So the first thing you have to do now, you go to the online store here and go to the themes. So here where you can change the, the themes and customize them if you want on your home page store. So this is the themes if you wanna select some theme just add and just add it and it will be selected and wait to install the theme and after this you can publish it and customize it on your home page. That's it uh, like this now customize and it will take you to your home page store. So this is your home page right now. Uh, this is the style if you want to change the style of your home page. You can make it like a desktop or like a mobile style or like a full screen style. So for me I'm going to just keep it like a desktop style. And let's move on. Here we have the settings where you can design your uh, your home page store. Uh, first we have here the header, the announcement bar. You can change the color scheme. Uh, you can show separate online. You can show icons on desktop. Also, you can turn this on, authority announcements, uh, you can enable country and region selector, you can enable language selector, so that's it. Let's move on to the to the announcements, you can change the, the text if you want, you can pass the link or search for something, for example, I'm gonna uh, select the all collections. Now, let's move on to the header, so here you can change the desktop logo position, you can change the main menu or remove it. Uh, you can change the, the desktop menu type, you can change the sticky header, also you can show departure line, you can change the color and the, the menu color scheme, uh, here you can enable country and region selection and uh, language selector, uh, you can edit the mobile layout, here you can uh, edit the spacing and the section padding, the top and the bottom, and here you can manage the, the theme settings, so here you can add your your social media links if you want, your Twitter link or your Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram or whatever you want to add here. Now let's move on to the logo. Here you have to select your logo from your library. So for example, let's search on this on the browser. Just for example. So for example, just for example, uh, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose this. So of course you have to upload this from your library. So this is your logo right now. You can change it at any time you want. You can uh, uh, delete it if you want. You can uh, design it at any time. So that's it. Now, if you're done from here, let's uh, move on to the next section, the image banner. So here we have the first image and the second image. So for example, let's select the image from the browser. example I'm gonna choose this if you want to add the second image you can add it uh, you can change the image overlay opacity here you can manage the, the panel height uh, if you want to delete some section just select the section and here you click remove section and it will be deleted uh, here you can change the desktop content position 
can show container on desktop you can change the desktop content alignment also you can change the color scheme the animations the mobile layout here you can stack images on mobile you can also show container on mobile so that's it now let's get back let's move on to the next here the hidden you can generate the text just describe what the text is about graphic design templates here you can change the hidden size uh, so that's it now let's get back let's move on to the buttons so here you can change the first button label you can change the first button link uh, here if you already add if you already add the, the second button label you can add the second uh, if you already ha add the second uh, image you can here add the second button label and you can add the second button link you can use outline button style so that's it now let's move on to the featured collection also here we have the hidden uh, describe what this text is about also here the, the hidden uh, the hidden size here the, the description just describe what this text is about like this and uh, it will be generated here here you can show collection description from the admin you can show you can change the description style uh, you can make products for width and you can enable view all if collection has more product than shown you can enable carousel on desktop uh, here you can manage the product uh, card you can show second image on hover you can show vendor you can show product region uh, here you can enable quick add button and you can enable swipe on mobile uh, so that's it now let's get back and let's if you want to add something new on your home page click here and select what kind of section you want to add on your home page from here so that's it now let's move on to the last section of the website the footer section so here you can change the, the color scheme uh, if you want to show email sign up here you can generate the text you can turn uh, this on show uh, show uh, enable follow on shop you can show social media icons so that's it after you're done from designing your website now all you have to do is save this and let's get back to, to the dashboard the next step is name your store after you uh, import your first product and add your first product So after you customize your online store and add your first product now you can add the custom domain and add the sharing details now let's move on to the name store so here you can name your store any name you want you can name it here you can add your store phone you can add your store email so that's it uh, after this you can launch your online store and publish it you can pick a plan just uh, here you can remove your store password so that's it for today if you like this video don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe i hope this video is helpful for you and thanks for watching till the end and see you in the next video